Hey, Canva Tip Weekly. Did you guys miss fresh videos? Hopefully you still enjoyed the greatest hits. I had three Canva basics and three more advanced things that I've done. Today's gonna fall under the advanced. This is how to make a repeating seamless pattern in Canva. I gotta tell y'all up front, uh, patterns are very easy to make as a designer because Adobe Illustrator and other comparable platforms have a pattern maker where they automatically tile and do all kind of really cool things. I love Canva. You love Canva. You're here, but it's not a um, deep design platform. Canva is amazing. And the more we ask of it to be that kind of design platform, the more expensive it's gonna get and harder to use it's going to get. So I, for one, am pro let Canva be Canva and let designers do professional things in other areas. That's things like clipping masks and of course this pattern situation, styling of text and paragraphs, page numbers. There's only so much it can really do before it starts to become Wait, we're only paying $12 a month for this. I digress, let's get into pattern making. So a pattern is a seamless repeating um, item. So obviously I use my terrazzo a lot. Um, I'm like the pattern queen when it comes to that. This is a pattern, it is a repeating seamless, uh, you can even see like where it starts to repeat. You see this little teardrop green boy and then the teardrop green boy right here. This is a great indicator that that is a repeating pattern. My ultimate suggestion is going to be two things before we even get into this. Uh, I'll put the timestamp below for when I actually start the tutorial. The first one's going to be Creative Market. They have a whole category for patterns. So yes, make your own, but also you can support a small business and a creator. Uh, for example, maybe you love a cool marble. Maybe you want to steal my terrazzo. That's totally fine. I don't own it. Maybe you want a cool checker. Um, I would come in here, use your brand keyword. Maybe you have a funky brand and type in funky pattern and see what comes up. Gorgeous already. These are usually going to be, this one's expensive, but usually they're gonna be like 15-ish bucks and they're gonna give you assets. Now, they're not gonna be color changeable and that's probably gonna be the thing that um, stops a lot of people because obviously you want to be able to change things in your brand. The workaround for that, let's create a new design and do a, I always do a square. Let's just pick a square. Now, of course, Canva has a lot of patterns as well. If you come over here to elements and type in, let's do the same thing, funky pattern, you're gonna, well, Canva's gonna hit us a little bit more literally. We're gonna type in graphics and you are gonna see a lot of things. So for example, I really love this pattern. This one is super cute and it's color changeable. So I can come in here and make it orange in my brand pink, check it out. And then, because we know that Canva's got it as a pattern, we can repeat it. I'm just holding down Alt, but you can also copy and paste. Boop, boop, boop. And then you can scale it to be like, do you like these a little bit smaller, like they're a pen mark, or do you want them to be a little bit bigger? Boop, 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 boop. Just like that. Awesome. So now I've got this. Now, if you're like, oh, Olivia, I just don't want to always have to copy and paste all these little tiny squares, then my suggestion would be get it a couple of color waves. Maybe you like it like this. Um, don't forget, like, let's say you wanted to change this to be green and my neon mint. Don't forget the paintbrush tool. You can canvas an entire area and change everything all at once. So what I would do is change a bunch of these. Let's do that one more time for the folks at home, just in case I just blew your mind. Let's do, I don't know, pink and yellow. It's kind of cute. Paintbrush, click and drag, and it will apply that to your whole page. So what I would do is do a couple of pages like this and then click share, download, save as a PNG, and then re-upload. And now you've got your pattern that you can use without having to tile it every single time. Canva does have tons and tons. What I would do is take some time and decide what your brand keywords are, how you want to use them. Now, I'm obviously using a really funky example. A lot of you are probably like, ugh, my brand is upscale, sophisticated. So let's try sophisticated pattern. Just kidding. Let's try um, thin line art pattern. Mm, yeah. You might like something like that, or maybe you just like something really, ooh, something like that. That's not a pattern though. Um, let's do a geometric pattern. There's a lot of those in here for sure. Something like this might be great for a lot of you. Check that out, a really nice divider. We've got a great pattern here, and of course it's color changeable. So I can make that orange, use my paintbrush, 
copy and paste that. These dots are also really cute. There's a lot of stuff in here, and so I do highly recommend use the resources you have, invest in a small maker, but hey, Olivia, we really want our own pattern, so let's do it. All right, to make a seamless repeating pattern, you have to have elements on all sides that bleed into the side, right? Now, I'm going to be using my set of illustrations done for me um, by Mushroom Studio, who I will link. So let's say I wanna do a snake, these books, um, where's my tiger? My brand tiger, boop, 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 a computer, and then I'll fill it in with my lightning bolt here and here. Boop, 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 boop. Right, this would make a fine pattern, but it's gonna leave gaps, right? You're welcome to fill up this whole thing and tile it. What's going to happen, and I'm just gonna be lazy and take a screenshot instead of um, <laughs> downloading it like I should. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna paste this and I'll make it small and it's accidentally gonna take my screenshot tool and I'm gonna repeat it, but you're gonna see a lot of holes. Now this is a cute pattern in itself. You could just make a pattern like this, but you're gonna see holes in these spaces. To make a true repeating pattern, you're gonna use in Canva, unfortunately, you're gonna have to use the rule of halves. You're gonna have to half things, otherwise the math is gonna be a nightmare for everybody. I'm gonna use my new submark to show you this. I'm gonna drag this over until I see this solid pink line. The solid pink line means, hey, this thing is halfway off of this board. Then I'm going to hit down Alt, which will keep it in a straight line. Oh, I'm sorry, Alt, which will duplicate it, and then Shift, which will keep it in a straight line. See how I can't really move it up and down? I'm gonna move it all the way over to the other side. Solid pink line, very important, solid pink line. Then I'm going to come over again to my illustrations. We're gonna add my tiger again, solid pink line. I'm actually gonna make him kind of big, solid pink line. Then we're gonna come up here, solid pink line. Let's add in my little cutie patootie computer. And then maybe, ooh, let's get something funky in here. So the computer, obviously I didn't have to do that rule because it's in the center. So up here, this kind of woobly groobly thing, moving it down here. Oh, I already have a problem. That is now conflicting with my tiger's tail. So what I'm going to do is not use this. I'm just gonna play around with these features a little bit. Let's use instead, because the tail is kind of thin over here. What do I like, what do I like? Maybe like this little flower pot? No. Maybe let's just put my lightning bolt right there. What do you guys think? Wish I could talk to you. Yeah, we're just gonna stick my lightning bolt, I think, right here. Alrighty, halfway. Halfway, yeah, that's cute, awesome. So now I've got these elements that are gonna feel really nice and then you can fill in all of the other holes. So I'm gonna do this with this right here, kind of give this a funky, funky thing here. We're gonna do, I don't know, I wish you guys could actually, maybe I should start doing these more live. Uh, let's put more flowers, actually yeah, let's put this thing up here and then put more flowers. All right, I digress. Okay, great. Once you've got this looking kind of the way you want it to look, you're going to hit share, download. You need to make sure this is transparent. And then of course, I only want current page five. Save this somewhere where you know you're gonna be able to easily grab it again. For me, that is a junk drawer folder that I have right here. So I'm gonna call this, oh, I don't know why that's doing that. That was weird. Try that again. Alrighty, once you have that brand pattern done, you can see on Chrome, it kind of comes down here. Here's brand pattern. I'm going to drag it into my artboard here. And then voila, now I can tile this and it will be a pattern. So then I can make it as big as I want to make it or kind of have it come down like this. Nice, look at how cool. Now I've got this like funky, Actually, I kind of love it. 
<laughs> uh, hmm, maybe I'll use that. And now you can actually change, for example, the background of this. So maybe I want this whole thing to be this color or my green color. Actually, I really love this. So I might just keep it like that. How fun. So this is how you make a repeating pattern. So what I could do is take all of this. Let's say you wanted to use this as a web background. I'm gonna come over to create a design, click custom size. Uh, we're gonna do 2000 by 1000. That's my traditional for a banner on like Squarespace. I'm going to put my pattern down, command V, and I'm like, I actually think that looks really cute. Gonna do that. We're gonna zoom in. I see a little bit of a white line. We're just gonna boop, one pixel in. Yeah, there's a white line right here too, whoa. Awesome, where else do I see? I see a little bit of a white line, the left to right too. So we're just gonna, this was dumb of me. I should not have recopied all of this. Don't do as I say, not as I do, don't, don't. See, now I'm just stubborn and I'm not gonna start over. I'm just gonna sit here and, whoa, no. Mess around with this. All right, once you're said and done, let's say you love this, you can share, download, PNG, whatever. It doesn't matter for this. Uh, well, JPEGs are smaller files, but they can get crunchy. We're going to now save this, and this is gonna be pattern web. Let's head over to my website. Oh, look at me. Let's head over to my edit editable website. Come over to pages. Where's my demo fun page, which I do have one. Demo fun page. <laughs> and let's, you can see I do all kind of like silly stuff on this one. Add a blank section edit section, background, add an image, upload file, go find where you organized and save that. So I'm gonna call it, that was pattern web, open, wait. And in Squarespace, you'll wanna take this overlay opacity down unless you want it to have like a little bit of a overlay, but check how cute this is. Then in Squarespace, you could add a block with some text cause that's for accessibility and uh, write something right here. Then we center it. I hate the new fluid engine background. Check it out. Yay. Awesome. So now I've just made this background repeating pattern directly in Canva. For the folks still staying, that was the end of the tutorial, but I do like to make sure that I show, hey, Livia, my brand's not funky and fun like yours. I need something really clean and simple. So let's take a peek at that. I'm going to do all of this over again with more simple, elegant line shapes, uh, like my secondary logo. <laughs> um, so I uh, have this little logo that I really love. We're going to do like kind of a cool black and white situation here. I'm gonna come over to elements and do, um, I don't know, elegant black and white something. I don't know, what do you guys think? Oh, that's gonna be weird. Let's come over and see what's trending. What do we got? What feels like it would be for you guys? I actually think for you guys, you would need like pretty botanicals, like thinking of, oh, these shadows are really cool. Yeah, Canva has so much really cool stuff. Actually, I do really love this kind of weirdness, and I think I can turn it into a pattern. Let's see about that. Well, because that's not going to repeat that way. Ooh, but you know what I could do is maybe flip it horizontal. Yeah. And then I could take that whole thing. Oh, that doesn't want to look good, though. See, it needs to be... Yeah, that would have needed to have been seamless. Um... Okay, I had to do some research, but I think I know what I want to do. I want to do one of those, like, really pretty, I don't know what it's called, but it's, like, a blue color, and it's, like, a pretty, like, you know, like, a piece of ceramic or something, so I kind of want to build my own, like, crazy blue, y'all know what I'm talking about? Like, that, like, white and blue teacup situation, so I'm going to fill this up, I'm going to do old vintage illustration, no, no, I need illustration. You know, you know, ooh, it's kind of funky. Okay, so I'm gonna let that be halfway. Well, I'm gonna make it big and then let that be halfway. I'm gonna hit Alt, drag it over here, pink line, right? Now I can place some of these elements how I like them. I decided I didn't like that one. This is, of course, going to um, give me magic recommendations. I really love this frame. So I'm going to, oh, that one's not color changeable. Quick tip if you've been watching, 
Uh, if something is a single color like this, then you can go down to Duotone and force it to be the color that you want. So I'm going to click Duotone. I'm going to click on it again. I'm going to change each of these to the blue color that I want. Ha ha ha, I do not take no for an answer. I'm going to make sure that that is halfway. Oh, it's still thinking it's like mad at me because I did Duotone. Okay, make sure that's halfway. There we go. Make sure that that's halfway. Now see, it's trying to align. There we go. Now it's running into my mirror. So I'm just gonna scoot that bad boy around. We're gonna just kind of fit this flower in where I want it to be. Uh, pretty, maybe I have, I mean, you're welcome to do math. Like you can count and say, okay, like this amount of this image is on this side and this amount of, of this image is on this side, but that is really hard to do. Um, vintage element, let's see here. Vintage illustration. How pretty a fish. I actually kind of love the fish. I know, I'm kind of a weirdo. This is gonna, yeah, let's see about that bad boy. Yeah, how fun. I just think that's like the perfect amount of funky. And again, oh, I wonder if I can duplicate the duotone look. No, I'm not. Oh, the fish is color changeable though. Perfect, perfect. Um, Awesome, okay, cool. Now I just need like, I don't know, what do you guys think? Like a, what is this? Like a weird, God, that's probably something inappropriate. YouTube's gonna take this down. I want like, yeah, like a soft, like illustration that feels like it can go. Um, I know people at home are probably like, what is she doing? I'm gonna like take it down like that. Yeah, doesn't that feel like it's something? Like I would buy a tea towel with that. I really want something in this corner. Now a corner is gonna mean you have to get all four sides on the same page. <laughs> That's a little thing. So that would mean <laughs> I want this like little soap bar, for example. I really think that something square is gonna fit better in that space. So what is a square looking item that feels, yeah, this random octopus, great. And it's color changeable, perfect. So I'm gonna make him like really small. And now I'm gonna make sure that he is both halfway on that corner and on this corner, right? So then I'm going to hit Alt. Ooh, okay. I'm going to, yep, hit Alt and put him half corner on this side and then up to make sure he is now half on this side. Haha, <laughs> have fun. That's like really weird. Really weird and cool. Huh. All right, let's see what monstrosity I just created. It's kind of fun. I mean, that was fun for me. Like, why not do crazy creative art projects sometimes? Hopefully it's helpful to see me repeat these steps again. Please comment. Um, it, of course, is really helpful um, uh, to know what you guys like seeing. I've heard multiple times that people love watching design and like, oh, I just absolutely love seeing, you know, how a designer designs. So I've been trying to do a little bit more on the ends of these videos to show for people who just want to sit with their morning coffee and uh, learn with me. Check this weirdness out. <laughs> My octopus didn't work, huh? Oh, because he's in all four corners, duh. The octopus didn't work because he does need to be in all four corners. I don't know what I was thinking. If you were yelling at me at home, then you were absolutely correct. He needs to be, because he is in the corner, he's got to be in all four corners. So let's repeat all of this again. Yes, it is super annoying to redo all of this. Resaving files is like half of my job. Mm -mm -mm. All right, weird pattern, weird pattern two. Let's try it again. This might be one of the weirdest things I've ever made, but I kind of love it. I don't want a tea towel with it. There we go. Octopus in full display. <laughs> Why is this making me laugh so much? I love it. I. <laughs> it's like looking into a mirror of like fish and like a flower, like a weird thing. But you can see how I made this using completely elements in Canva. I can now highlight all of this, um, resize it. Maybe I want it to be even smaller. Um, you can even like do this once and then save it like that. So hopefully this was really helpful and I would love to see the patterns you make. Please feel free to reach out or comment and I would love to take a peek. Thanks guys.